Hey, all right. So this is how I actually do it, especially when I'm looking for elements that I do for my design, especially when I am creating some templates for the Savvy Template Shop or for Canva template creators um, in her profile is that I look for elements that really resonates with my brand as well, right? So one of the key things that I usually do is there is an option wherein there are some featured um, graphics that are from the different contributors of elements in Canva. It's either directly from Canva or from some of their contributors of elements, right? And there are some amazing elements creator that I always use often that I even create a certain folder just to keep things organized. So I do have a folder that called elements and I currently have um, Sketchify, Marsala, Digital, and Julia are some of the elements that I really love. And if I open through it, especially Marsala Digital is that all of this are actually her, um, her or his creation. Sorry about that. I just want to make sure. Um, so this is one thing that I have. So every time I have anything that I find that is really amazing, I try to click on that and try to figure out who is it from and then try to just categorize it or get it more organized because there's still no no way that you can like go to the profile or either like create that profile as a favorite, like, you know, like like it and then save it, right? So what I normally do is that, so here's the thing, on every element that you see, even on templates, even on templates or even on things that is actually here like this, for example, this is actually mine. This is a template that I have created. So if I go and let's just zoom that in a little bit so that you can all see that one. All right. So if I go, all right here there's will always be a three dots so i'm gonna go ahead and do click here and then you can see view more for savvy chic design um you can actually like that one i actually get that information that ooh, somebody liked that um template of mine and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on that and all of the templates that i have created for canva will actually be in your library so you can go ahead and check that one out and thank you so much for those of you who are actually using our canva so as of now, as you can see, there's no way for you to really like save it, right? Like you can't even type um, Savvy Chic Design, for example, um, Savvy Chic Design, nothing will pop out, right? So there is, oops. There is a limitation on filtering as of the moment with Canva. So what I normally do, particularly with elements, again, let's go back to elements. So I use the same thing. I create a folder, right? I create a folder, for example, for elements, right? I create a folder and then that's where I save all the elements that I really love and I kind of resonate with. So like, for example, this one, I wanna see more of the same um, design from the, that looks like this. And I'm gonna say view more and it will actually filter out all of the things that he has created. And I'm gonna figure out whether I can see other things that is of the same element with what I like, right? And then from there, I then create the combination. Like for example, this, I love all of this. Um, usually it will say like more of this, um, but then if not, I just click on that one again, um, or I can save it. So what I do is that, so Sketchify, I actually add it to a folder and then I look for that one. So I go with elements and then I look for that folder for, for that creator and then I save it there. Right. And I can even do still like um, filter it out and get more organized. I want to do, for example, I want to name it. Um, I want to name it. Line images, for example, and I'm going to go ahead and save that one there. I'm going to go ahead and folder and going to look for elements. I'm going to look for that 
and then I'm going to do here. So it's already here, right? It basically saves that one. And then if I find something else that is of the same for that one, like here, I want that. I'm going to go and do the same thing again. I'm going to type in elements and then look for that artist and then look here. And then I'm going to save that one there as well. So I kind of want it to be more organized. So every time that there are like, images that I kind of want to look around it and I kind of know who the artist is. It kind of just give me that fun more ways to get things organized as well. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And if I find something else again that is really interesting, I usually go to features. Um, that's one of the things that I really love because it let me know what are like the latest things that Canva is trying to feature. Um, like for example, this one is still um, Sketchify. And then for this, it's going to be um, more solid dig digital. And then let's see here. So those are like some of the ways that you can. So if you see any el elements of some sort that is really interested to you and you kind of want to see like, hey, what other things um, that can be similar to that, you can truly um, do that one and then it will filter out what you basically would like or would need. So as you can see here, right, there's a lot of things that are similar, as you can see, created by this creator. So hopefully um, can't. Canva will create more of a filter that will be much more easier. But this is really amazing because what they do is that they have their profile and they usually, so us creators at times, um, create a certain theme of what we want to upload. So they are, um, Marsala and other of the artists are more particular with the elements side of things. I work more on the templates side of things and if you actually would like to check out the profile that we have you can actually check out um, canva.com slash p slash slash savvy chic dash design um, these are all of the designs that i have created for canva and you can actually these are all available um, some of a I mean, available, you can go ahead and just go type in my profile as of now, and then you can use whatever it is that is available. So yeah, so I hope that actually help you out and kind of filtering out how to use the elements that is available in Canva. All right. Creating a brand and website goes beyond the aesthetics. As a designer, we do our best to make sure we transform the vision into visual creation. So it goes beyond the logo. It's really just understanding what is the personality behind a brand, what is the story, what is the mission of the company. In Savvy Chic Design, one of the things that we really prioritize is really understanding what your business is all about so that we can transform it into a visual that will really stand out. My name is Joanna. I'm the creator of founder of Savvy Chic Design and I invite you to book a call so that we can start leveraging your brand.